Alright guys, today we're going to be going over how to mount a drive on your Linux box. So it can be a little intimidating, especially if you haven't done it before, but I'm just going to go over a few commands here to help you out, and we'll get right into it. So uh, the first command I'm going to be going over is df, which is right here. Um, and this is just going to show you how much space is on your drive, and it's also going to show you how much you've used and how much you have to use left, so how much you can use. Um, the du command is very useful for finding out how much uh, disk space a file is taking up for you. And lsblk is just going to list block devices. blkid is going to just uh, it's going to display your uh, uuid number, which we'll get into, uh, which is important for uh, mounting your drive, um, and fdisk uh, is what we're going to be using to uh, create a partition table and also to create a partition. Um, and mkfs is how to put a file system on uh, your partition. So, and I'm going to be going over how to actually use that. Uh, and chown is um, how you're going to change the ownership of a file or folder. You can use this in a lot of applications, but uh, I should just show you some of the uh, examples right here. So we'll just do df dash uh, dash h, uh, f and uh, pretty much the uh, dash h uh, flag is human readable. So if I just do df, you see it's just in bytes, which isn't as uh, easy to interpret. So um, you can see right here, um, I have uh, 27 gigs available, 5% used. It's uh, my root partition. Well, I'm going to do a do you command. So du dash h, and again, that's human readable. You can see these are the different uh, sizes, uh, how much space is being used up by each of these files. lsblk, this is just going to list block devices. Like I said, this is my boot uh, partition here, and this is my root partition. And this is also the SDA partition, that's one terabyte. and is the drive that we're actually going to be using to mount different partitions in this tutorial. Now I'm going to do a blkid and you can see it only lists the mounted uh, drives with the UUID number. If I do a sudo blkid it's going to also show the SDA partition down here. Or not partition but drive. All right, now I'm going to show you guys how you can mount a drive inside of your Linux box. So the first thing we're going to do is actually create the file that we're going to be mounting this uh, drive to. So let's uh, just go into uh, MNT. So let's go CD root MNT. Now we'll do a sudo mkdir and we'll just call it first underscore partition. enter here. All right. And if I go ls-la, you can see this is actually owned by root. So <clears throat> we're going to change that. So we're going to do a sudo chown and we're just going to put the user and the group which are both going to be me. And then you're just going to put the part or the uh part or you're going to put the drive that you want to change the owner up. So yeah, which is first partition. So if I go ls dash la you can see it's owned by me and it's also owned um, by my group. <coughs> so now we're gonna uh, uh, I'm gonna show you how to make a, a partition table and uh, how to create a partition. So if I go ls blk you can see that we have a uh, drive here that's SDA and it's a uh, terabyte drive. So I'm just going to do sudo um, <coughs> fdisk and uh, then dev sda. We're going to press M here to show what the commands are. And the only thing we're going to worry about right now is uh, creating a partition table. And uh, in reality, today, the only thing you're really going to uh, use is GPT for day-to-day uh, -day use. So uh, let's just put a G here. Okay, we created a new partition table. Now let's hit M again, and uh, up here we want to create a new partition, so we're just going to put N. So I'm going to put an N down, 
okay and uh, the default is going to be one out of uh, 128 because you can have 128 partitions on GPT so I'm just going to hit enter to uh, keep the default now uh, this is the first sector don't really have to be concerned about that that's just the information about the partition so we're going to hit enter to keep things the default and now <coughs> we're going to uh, create our uh, partition uh, the amount that, that's going to be inside this partition now if you just hit enter you can see that the default is actually going to be the full amount of the drive but i'm going to make it 10 gigabytes just for this example so you can see uh, you could put a, a plus or a minus and you can uh, put uh, have, uh, the amount so i'm going to show you how to do that so we're just going to do a plus 10 and I'm going to do a capital G because you, you can do either kilobytes, megabytes, gigabytes, terabytes, or petabytes. So we're going to make a 10 gig uh, uh, partition here. I'm going to hit enter. All right. And I, then I'm going to uh, put a capital Y and so we can uh, approve that. And now if you actually just exit this, it's not going to save. You have to write to it. So uh, we're going to put a W to write to this drive. Now if I go lsblk you can see that we have a uh, sda1 so this is our 10 gig partition and we're going to mount that inside of the first partition uh, folder so right here so and i'm going to show you how to do that but first we have to actually create a file system because if we go lsblk or actually sorry sudo blk id you can see it's just a partition right here but it, it, we haven't put a file system on it yet so <clears throat> How you actually do that is do a sudo mkfs dash t, and now this is going to be the dash t flag here is for type, and we're going to create an ext4 partition, which is uh, the most common inside of Linux for uh, not partition but file system, uh, and now we're going to just select what uh, partition we want to uh, put this file system on, which is going to be dev and sda1. All right. So I'm going to hit enter here, and uh, if I go ls or sudo blkid, you can see that we put the ext4 partition inside of there. So if we wanted to mount this, we have to actually go into fstab. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So sudo nano, and we're going to go into the etc fstab. All right. Now we're going to put a little note here just so we know what this is. So I'm just going to put first underscore partition and we're gonna put 10 gig all right now uh, obviously you can put whatever you want there for your note I just like to do that so I know what it is so um, and I'm actually forgetting we need to get the UUID number so let me just exit out of here real quick so let me just copy this all right And the first thing we're going to put it is the UUID. And um, you can also put uh, the path to uh, the uh, drive, uh, like at, at like dev SDA1. But uh, it, there is a chance that that can change uh, if you're unmounting and remounting it over and over and over again. So uh, a consistent thing that's always going to work is the UUID number. So that's why I'm showing you guys to use that instead. And now, after we have the UUID number, we're just going to put the path to where this is. So it's going to be root MNT, and it's going to be first underscore partition. And now we're going to put the file system, which is going to be ext4. And then we're just going to put defaults. Um, and then zero space zero. So, um, and pretty much in between each of these you're gonna just put a space in between each if I didn't clarify that so just control X yes and enter now if I do a sudo mount dash a it should mount it now if I uh, you can see I don't have any output so that's a good indication that we did everything properly so if I go LS BLK you can actually see right here our 10 gig partition that we just created with SDA is actually in the MNT first partition um, uh, so it's actually uh, we have mounted it in uh, the location of this 10 gigs so we could fill this up is going to be inside of um, MNT first partition so um, and uh, you can also do a DF dash, uh, dash H to actually show your partitions and also this uh, like how full they are how much there is in them um, so you can see this dev SDA has uh, 9.3 gigs 
and it's inside of mount the first partition you can see how full it is it, we only have uh, 24 uh, uh, 24 uh, kilobytes used um, out of the 10 so and another thing I wanted to show you guys is uh, if you wanted to uh, mount a partition for your home directory uh, and I'm going to show you how to do that uh, real quickly here so if I just make another partition here so let me just clear the screen and do a sudo f disk and let's just do a dev sda again m and we already created a partition table so we don't have to worry about that but we're just going to create a new partition so I'm going to put an n here for new default's going to be 2 and now we're going to put in uh, another 10 gigs inside of this so we can put just 10 and G oh wait oh uh, no, no no this is gonna be the default first sector sorry about that and now we're gonna put the 10 gigs so plus 10 G hit enter yeah and uh, yes and now we're gonna write to that okay now we need to create a file system for it again we're gonna use uh, ext4 again so I'm gonna do a sudo mkfs dash t ext4 and then we're gonna just do a dev SDA uh, 2 so and then we're gonna make the file system for that alright I'm gonna clear the screen so if I do a LSBLK you can see that we have two partitions now and they're both separated so here's our other partition it's an SDA 2 so if you follow it along the uh, to the other one we're just gonna have to go back into F disk so sudo nano etc F uh, or uh, F stab sorry so we're going to go into this folder again, and we're going to put another little note here. Uh, all right, so let's just put bare Dnix partition and 10, uh, 10G. Okay, and I'm already forgetting again. We need to, no. Okay. Now I need to do a sudo blk id. I need to get that. Uh, UUID number, so let's just copy that. All right. Now we can put the UUID in here, and we're gonna just mount this inside a home and be Baradinix, that which is my home directory, and this is another EXT4 partition. So we're gonna put that there, and then defaults zero space zero. Now we can do control X, yes, and enter. Now if I do a sudo mount dash A, I can do a ls blk. You can see that we actually mounted that 10 gigs inside of our home and Baradinix directory. So if I do a df dash, uh, dash H, you can see that's how much we use the 24 uh, uh, kilobytes. and. Another thing that's also uh, a useful thing to know uh, if you're mounting partitions is how to unmount them. And if it's sudo mount dash a, you can imagine what unmounting it would be, which would be sudo umount dash. And let's just uh, uh, let's take off the uh, mnt first partition. Um, and let's do the first uh, SDA one right here. So we're just going to put a dev SDA one. And that's going to unmount it. If I go lsblk, you can see that it's no longer uh, mounted to that uh, file. So if I do a sudo mount dash a, it, you can see a lsblk. We are, are mounted again. Now another good thing to know is every time you reboot the system, if it's inside of the f stab, it's going to try to mount it. If the drive is no longer there, it's going to fail, and uh, that's no good. So. Well, I hope I helped you guys out. If uh, you liked the video, give me a like, and thanks for watching. Peace.